Reader's Digest has been publishing one of the most authoritative health columns, news from the world of medicine since 1962. Our guest today is the magazine's editor-in-chief, Liz Vaccarello. Thanks for joining us. What got you involved in the health and fitness world? Well, you know, it, it occurred to me that health is a means to happiness. The, the happiest people I know are healthy. It's very difficult to live the life you want if you're unwell. So that's why my interest led me down that, that path. And the Reader's Digest has been covering this for a long time. Yes. Well, in a sense, what's more important than health? Nothing, nothing, <laughs> exactly. I have a bagel store in L.A. Okay. I love bagels. Yes, okay. I don't eat a lot of them, but one bagel a day keeps... <laughs> keep, keep, keep somebody keep away. Somebody away. <laughs> what is what is gluten and is bagels okay? Okay, well, so gluten is a protein, um, and for, in Asian countries, for example, it's a protein that people order off the menu. And a lot of people, you're hearing about gluten insensitivity, or I'm avoiding, I'm gluten intolerant. I see products. Say. Right, and it's a, it's that's very much a fad. And I have to say that for most of us, though, gluten is something that we don't have to worry about. One percent of the population has celiac disease, which is where our body, body's immune system reacts to gluten and, and starts to destroy the small intestine. Those people have to avoid gluten. The rest of the people have gluten insensitivity or gluten intolerance. And those people feel better, they think, when they stop eating uh, foods that contain gluten. This could be the placebo effect, or it could be foods that contain gluten are, are processed refined carbohydrates like pretzels and pizza. So when we stop eating those things, we feel better for possibly a host of other reasons. So maybe I should cut down on the bagels a little. If your bagel if you feel good eating your bagel, continue to eat your bagel. Well, That's the bottom line. Thank you, Liz. <laughs>